Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it's surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second or third time to my YouTube channel, again, happy to have you guys. Welcome. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker and CEO. CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to, to, to society <laughs> through our products and services in which educate, inspires, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl. And as you guys can't tell, I got a little bit of different background today. I'm in the gym at my job. Um, didn't get a chance to do some vlog hunting yesterday, so I'm getting it in today, you guys. The grind don't stop. Uh, and so with today being Tuesday, you guys know on Tuesday we do our social awareness vlog so this one's going to be in dedication to April also being a Parkinson's disease awareness month and so we'll be talking about that and uh, jumping right into it you guys um, doing my research I found from Parkinson's disease.org I found that Parkinson's what is Parkinson's disease is it is a brain disorder that occurs uh, generally with people uh, in upper in age you know 60 years or older um, it affects the neurons or the neur neur uh, the cells in the neurons, which is over time slows it down and causes uh, motor skills, uh, speech impediments. Um, you know, you're not able to write. Uh, you're, it's a lot of things. It's over time that your body starts to sit, shut down. So uh, today we'll be touching bases on that and talking about that for those out there that are going through Parkinson's disease and that have lost their battle with uh, this disease. I've only known of one person to, you know, have died from it, which was Muhammad Ali. He actually, this is what, you know, caused his death, Parkinson's disease. And so um, doing my research on it, I found, you know, it was uh, some interesting facts. Um, but rather than me sharing it with you guys, I found this dope video uh, from Dr. P. He got a long <laughs> last name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But um, he dispelled some facts about it as well as some myths about Parkinson's disease. And so rather me, you know, talking about it and getting some of the information incorrect or inaccurate, I'd rather him tell you guys he's more equipped to share it with you all. So with that being shared, excuse me, said, check out this video that I found um, uh, talking about Parkinson's disease and giving a little more information about it. Yeah. And so when we come back, uh, I'll share information about what's going on in Difference World and, a little, and, and anything else. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Check it out. We see Parkinson's disease in two different set of people. If people who develop Parkinson's above 60 or 70 years of age group, the chances of acquiring a genetic cause is little less likely. In people who has Parkinson's disease, who develop the Parkinson's disease in younger age group, around 40 or 50 years, the chances of the genetic cause is high likely. If somebody is having younger onset Parkinson's disease, I would like to do the genetic test first. If they have a genetic cause, then I would like to discuss with the family, there is a chance they may develop it. But if they don't have a genetic cause, obviously the chances is very, very unlikely. The simplest answer is no. See, initially many people thought that the syndopa, the levodopa can worsen Parkinson's disease. But nowadays the evidence clearly shows that syndopa is beneficial. Even though some people on young onset Parkinson's disease may develop some dyskinesias, that is not due to the medications itself. This is due to the disease itself. My simple advice is don't worry about the medications. Take the medications on time. The dopamine is like a petrol for the body. If dopamine is not there, there may be some shaking in the hands, some slowness in the body movements, some stiffness of hands or walking difficulties can occur. So we are just going to replace the dopamine with your medications. That's it. You are, if you take these dopamine tablets regularly, 
your parkinson symptoms will be controlled very well there are two types of parkinson symptoms one most of the patient will present with a yeah, tremor dominant parkinson's they will have lots of tremors the other subgroup they won't have tremors but they will have stiffness of hands slowness or sometimes walking problems there are other non motor symptoms also there like speech problem swallowing problem hallucination memory loss there can be other problems can also present as an early sign of parkinson's disease if any of these symptoms are there please consult your neurologist at the earliest the simplest answer is no even though if you take tablets for even 10 years or 20 years the benefit will be persisting the only thing is when the disease progresses you may require little bit of more medications to control your symptoms if the tablets are not effective at that point of time we have other treatment options like advanced options like deep brain stimulation apomorphin pump or liver oppo infusion we can select any one of this and these advanced treatment options will give you a good quality of life and make your life comfortable to do all your day to day activities without any discomfort All right, guys, welcome back. And so if you guys are uh, just tuning in, uh, we just watched a video from Dr. P uh, talking about Parkinson's disease and uh, how it occurs and some facts and myths about Parkinson's disease. Um, I did not know that a person with Parkinson's disease can live at least 10 to 20 years with it. It's just over time, it'll cause their body to deteriorate and break down and eventually they'll die from it. Uh, and so I definitely, you know, want to take this time to dedicate this video to those out there who have lost their battle with Parkinson's disease as well as those who are affected by it and those who have family members living with Parkinson's disease. Um, like any other, you know, situation that, you know, people go through in life, this one is no different. And so for those out there that are fighting this battle, keep fighting on, keep striving on, and don't give up. And, you know, it ain't over till it's over. And so um, as stated with some of the facts, people can live a long time with this disease. Um, and so I do encourage those out there that, that, you know, have family members or friends or even living with this disease, to, you know, to do your research and get out there and find what works best for you or what it helps you know cope with this uh, illness and so again my prayers and thoughts are with those out there who are living with it who have lost their battle with Parkinson's disease as well as you know family members that have been affected by it uh, sometimes and often a lot of time it's not just the person living with the illness that's affected by it it's their loved ones as well and so um, this one's for you guys. I don't want to keep it too, too long because I'm on break. <laughs> so I have to get back to work. And so if you guys like the topic that I'm talking about in regards to Parkinson's disease, definitely show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys will definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop. Uh, don't forget as well, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you can check out all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, TikTok, and uh, also anybody looking for motivational speakers uh, would like for me to be a part of any grassroots conversations or any podcast interviews, definitely hit me up on my website. I work pro bono as of now. You just need to go to my website, differenceworld.net, and book your girl there. Don't forget as well, you guys, I have my book, what if a controversial paradigm shift available on my website? You guys can get your copy there. Again, it's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And this is done through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience because it has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. That's the point of it all. You know, you guys, just bring your little fire blanket. Um, having these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug or people turn a blind eye to. That's the point of this book is just to push that envelope and get that conversation started, uh, coming together as one, talking about accountability and acknowledgement and 
over time coming up with ways we can create systemic change for society. And so again, go to my website, differencewell.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, you guys. And moving right along with the different train, you guys. What else we got going on in Difference World? Tomorrow's Wednesday. Normally I do my podcast interviews, and so be on the lookout. I may be dropping one, maybe not. Who knows? So, again, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn, you guys. Yeah? Um, lastly, before we get out of here, let's do our mental health check for those out there that may need it, including myself. Nobody's perfect. And for those going through any type of mental stress, anguish, illness, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go whatever that may mean to you. Talking with somebody, a family member, a therapist, a friend, uh, getting on medication, picking up a hobby, Men and broken bridges, cutting people off from me, you know, well, whatever you have to do to keep your mental health in check and not go off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you, do it. And for those out there that may need it or know somebody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255, or you can call or text 988 988- or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can visit incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am sharing this mental health resources with you, it is on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else but you. Also remember that whatever that you're going through, whatever trial and tribulation that you may be experiencing right now in your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end, it's not an option because it's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay. Um, Moving right on, you guys. I know I'm (laughs) talking with the speed of lightning, but I got to get back to work. And so again, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. If you guys like the segment that I'm talking about today, be sure by showing me, by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Again, hit that subscribe button for your girl. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. Keep it coming and don't stop. And remember, you guys, whatever it is in life that you guys are believing that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. Difference well, come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.